What were we looking at before six? You might not think summer research has anything to do with dancing, but at Cornell College, it does. A lot of them do a lot of weird things. A lot of them like are just kind of trying to impress the female. A lot of them like kind of flung out their wings backwards like this, or they do like that. Brian Hernandez is one of five students on campus working with Professor Marty Condon. They're studying the evolutionary biology of these unique dancing flies to better understand and discover how these diverse species from Central and South America came into existence. Means. Evolutionary biologists, what we do, what we're curious about is how to explain this amazing diversity of life on Earth. The work that we're doing, we're discovering diversity that nobody's ever discovered before. And tropical forests are disappearing, so this is a basic knowledge problem is that we're losing diversity very quickly and we're trying to discover what's there before it's gone. So this summer, the team is focusing on studying the fly's behavior. Well, uh, that's how I discovered some of these species, is that they do really, really different dances. And every time I look at these guys and think, whoa, that's a really different dance. That guy's doing something really different from that fly. They're always different species. And I think that's how the flies tell each other apart. The student researchers have dozens of videos to study the dancing courtship behavior, and recent high school graduate James Cummings is digitizing those for safekeeping. Hopefully the videos can help tie a lot of this together. A lot of the dances share similar traits, and hopefully these traits can be used to identify which species are which, and how they identify each other as well. And hopefully that can all be used to help solve this, this puzzle. A piece of this dancing puzzle includes the molecular side of the research. Andrew Joseph and Ann Wiedekamp are taking on that work in the lab. Some of these species of flies have different dances. So you can sometimes see that a fly may be a different species by the way they dance. However, most of these flies are cryptic species. And cryptic species means that you can't really tell them apart by looking at them. They are so similar, so the only way we can tell the difference between species are through DNA sequencing. Um, so that's why we have to do that. Meanwhile, Julia told me is crunching the numbers, looking at data from over the years and searching for any patterns to help distinguish the different species of flies. Actually, because I'm a math major, so I didn't really think I'd end up doing bio research, but this is like it's nice that this is kind of accommodated towards what I'm interested in, in doing stats and stuff. So. It's a really interesting project and I'm glad I'm part of it. A lot of people think it's like crazy because it's like not really what's expected when you think about like evolutionary biology. It's really interesting. The students are challenging themselves throughout their summer research. I always like asking questions and getting answers, but asking questions and then getting your own answers is a lot more fun and a lot more challenging as well. Professor Condon says Cornell College's block schedule has been the key to making this entire project happen. Because of Cornell's calendar, students can spend a month, two months, doing intensive tropical field work on things that have never been discovered before. This is just one story detailing all of the summer research projects going on at Cornell College. Watch for others on the Cornell College News Center or follow us on Facebook for more information.